ball forward. Ali. Yubamba. Yubamba. Excellent skill. Tip wide for the corner by Coralie Lalile. Lalie able to make the save to deny Yubamba. And that was heading in. And across deep and the header down towards goal and off the bar. What a chance. Noella Luhala, the captain, getting her head to it. And there was no way that Lalie was going to get anywhere near that ball. Here comes Canada again. Chukwu down in the penalty area. It is a spot kick. Canada with an early opportunity to take the lead. VAR will be having a look at this as a matter of course. We did have a penalty decision overturned by VAR. It's Amanda Allen. Scores for Canada. Terrific penalty from Amanda Allen. Super height. Goalkeeper went the right way, but couldn't get anywhere really near the ball. Perot couldn't get on the end of it. Allen. It's Amanda Allen. Goalkeeper got a touch. Corner kick. Chuck Wu will have a go from distance. Macau having to stretch to reach it. Let's see what he, she was trying to do here. Annabelle Chuck Wu. All over the top. Perot. She's not going to get there though. Goalkeeper just able to get there first and then eventually the flag was raised. necessarily the challenge for the ball it's the collision afterwards can't get past the first defender but it is an equalizer Tanzania with the equalizer through Veronica Mapundu the player who came into the side tonight well the initial corner wasn't that great but Canada failed to clear and Veronica Mapundu was in the right place at the right time. And this match is wide open again. And that goal is highly significant as far as the quarter final lineup is concerned. As it stands, Tanzania are going through to the quarter finals, but for quite some time it was Canada who were uh, heading into the last eight, courtesy of Amanda Allen's penalty. But it was cancelled out by Veronica Mapundu and half time here in Navi Mumbai. It's all square. Tanzania one, Canada one. Amanda Allen is going to move out to the left. Here come Tanzania. She's going to have to do it all on her own though. And the defenders send Ali wide. And Ali then sends her shot wide. Picking up possession just inside her own half. And those in white. Able to take her away from the goal. And in the end, it was a long way wide. Cross came the challenge here from Krista Bahira. Allen to drive it across. It's too high for the goalkeeper to get on the end of. It's a chance for Shakwu. Beaten away by the goalkeeper. Knight Watson here. Spreads it out wide to the far side. Allen. Briggs has made a run into the middle. Cross can't find her. Macau is there. Does well to turn away from Kipanga. Allen. 
smacked a little bit of desperation that long range shot from Amanda Allen when there were teammates in other positions around her get it away Allen will she have another shot from here she will you can see Allen picking the ball up here Logan have made a run forward options to her right Hernandez Gray through here chance for the shot on goal and again and the goalkeeper is behind the second one Bordolo saw her initial effort blocked and then Bordolo's follow-up saved by Macau and is this the chance for Canada to go through When it fell nicely for the rebound, Canada must surely have hoped. And a chance now for Nali on that far side for Tanzania. Nali's ball across and tipped behind. It's a Tanzania corner. Nali A with the save. Play will stay up at that end. Tanzania have done it. History for the East African country at their first ever FIFA World Cup. They are through to the knockout stages. The goal that earned the draw for Tanzania. Canada have to go home, but Tanzania are into the last eight. Tanzania won, Canada won.